Well, we have not done anything here since yesterday afternoon. I'm guessing probably 18, 19 hours ago now we were last here. Uh, sometimes I feel like going back to work after the uh, upload and sometimes I don't. And yesterday I just didn't feel like it. Uh, anyway, I think it's, it's probably safe to take the pressure off here right now. So uh, I'll, I'll just reposition and we'll very, very carefully release everything. I, I think I'm going to leave it uh, fastened to... Uh, no, I, I'm going to have to turn it over, I think. You know what? I wonder if I glued this on the wrong way. Now, I do not have my strongest glasses on right now. But from what I'm seeing is, I have glued it the wrong way. This easy line is uh, wonderful stuff. I can highly recommend it for, uh, for rigging for ships. It's just fantastic. But it's hard for these old fingers to grab hold of. And what I had done was I'd used a piece of blue tack to hold the one end so that I could, you know, start stringing it around. Now when I wound it back up on the spool here, I, uh, I didn't wind it under tension. The reason being is that I, I, I wanted to have as much elasticity as possible so that when I come to use that, first uh, two or three feet or whatever, well, two feet, I guess, we, we used. Uh, uh, and anyway, it's, it's not going to be worn out, if you know what I mean. Okay, if I carefully squeeze right here, it should release the grip on the part. But it's not. Well, maybe we're going to have to go the other way then. I'll put the micro lens on, we'll have a good look at it. Often while I'm editing out the scene, I think to myself I should have had the camera positioned just a little bit differently. In other words, in this case, I should have had it turned around 90 degrees and, you know, facing me. And uh, then things would not have been so awkward, and I think probably the lighting would have been better. However, I don't do retakes, so what you see is what you get. Yes, we have mounted it. 180 degrees the wrong way around. Now, do you notice that whenever I make a mistake here, I always say, we made a mistake? Yeah, it makes it a lot easier if I can share the blame. Now, I'm sure glad I uh, kept these little parts here and didn't throw them out. Anyway, this has got to get turned over. And it's supposed to go supposed to go like this. Okay, now if we mount the seat on this piece right here, where it's supposed to go, the observer, when looking through the binoculars, is going to be looking through them backwards, at least according to all the, other, the way that all the others are. Now, you know what happens when you look through binoculars backwards, everything looks further away. And I can just hear it, the observer shouting out, oh, the enemy's a long ways off. Uh, break out the rum rations, we got lots of time. Anyway, yeah, so we got to mount this on there. Or, I can mount it on the, on the other side here. Right there. I, I, I actually think I can mount it on the other side, that way the, the general shape is going to be the same. As, as the way the others are. Just let me just let me grab one here and see if I can just get it up here. Okay, you can see how it's supposed to be. And you can also see that a lot of the detail has been broken off of the of the uh, binocular part. Uh, there should be the eyepieces that you would normally look into, and uh, anyway, you get the idea. Okay, this is uh, CA medium here. Uh, 
Now, just a point of interest, I, I did a dry run here a minute ago, and this thing pinged out of the tweezers. Now, fortunately, I did find it. That sort of needs a little bit of readjusting, doesn't it? Oh, shoot. Maybe I didn't put enough CA on. It just doesn't want to stick on there. There. Now don't poke at it. Probably about uh, three or four minutes has passed now. I do believe that this is, yeah, this is in place because otherwise the brush would move it. I didn't want to bump it with anything heavy just in case it, it wasn't cured. But uh, anyway, so my thinking now is that I'll just sort of reinforce it from underneath here. No, there's probably people screaming at their computer, Ron, you got enough on there. Okay. Now, remember, this, this is the top here, and we're going to be looking down this way, so if there's an excess underneath there, we're not going to see that anyway. Now, the way I did the other 16 or 17, I don't think I actually showed how I did it. Uh, well, actually, it would be the other 16, because the first one... If you remember, I tried to put the little seat on on top of the uh, on on top of the tongue, whereas the other ones, I I took this piece and held it upside down, and dropped it down onto the onto the seat. Now, one of the viewers suggested doing it this way. I think a way back when we were doing the Bismarck, uh, and if I did. You know, if I happen to use an idea that somebody suggests, and uh, and I and I don't uh, give credit, you know, I oh, sorry about that. Um, I I don't mean to steal somebody else's idea. I don't care if you think it's my idea or your idea or whose idea it is. It doesn't it doesn't bother me. Uh, <laughs> I'm not in this for the money, and um, yeah. So if, if, and as, as long as we're talking about that. Uh, about comments, I, I think I've mentioned this before, uh, because there are so few comments, or maybe I should say not too many comments, I'm able to read them all. And you may notice all I'll do is I'll give you just a thumbs up on it. Well, that that's just to let you know I did read it. Uh, I do appreciate the comments, I do appreciate the ideas, and if I forget to, to give you credit for your idea, uh, well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I, I sure don't mean to be, uh, I don't I don't know what you call it, but I don't mean to be that way. <laughs> now, in order for this to work well, our little seat or disc has to be right at the edge here. And we're just sort of doing a dry run here. I just want to make sure everything's going to fit. All right, let's slip on the micro lens. And put a little bit of uh, CA th medium on the uh, on the tongue, and then I'm going to try and get it on there. Okay, let's get the macro lens on. No. Okay, I've got different tweezers this time. Now sometimes this went extremely well, and sometimes it was just a disaster. Okay, that just needs very, very slight adjusting. Maybe I can do it this way. Oops, I bumped it. Okay. 
Now, if I can let that cure like that, then I can reinforce it later. It only takes a couple of minutes because there's, there's very, very little uh, CA medium on there. Okay, yeah, that, that looks pretty straight. I'm not going to try and straighten it because right now the uh, the uh, CA glue is probably getting a little bit, you might say, crispy, and uh, it'll it'll crack off. At least <clears throat> that's my theory. Now, when I did the other 16, I did not have them mounted in the helping hands, but because I'm wanting to uh, video this, I going to take advantage of it. Now I want to be very careful not to actually bump the seat itself. I want to get it on the tongue and just sort of let it wick its way down because the seat might be just about ready to fall off. Okay. Now that, that should be fairly strong. And when viewed from the top, we won't see that there's a big blob of glue there. Alright, let's let that cure and then get it on the uh, masking tape with all the others and maybe we might get to spray today. Now once again, this is just for perspective. I don't know of any other model show where the guy shows you close-ups like this. Yeah, when was the last time you heard somebody say, let's slip on our super macro and take a really close look? Maybe we should just turn it just a little bit here. We are back to where we started yesterday morning, just before we found our little part laying on the floor. And I'm going to be using the 66 lighter gray here, so it will contrast against the 77 darker gray that a lot of the decking is. And uh, I think that's going to look okay. I know a person could take a little brush and maybe do the seats uh, a contrasting color and, and, and possibly the, uh, the uh, spotlights here. Uh, maybe where the shutters are they could be a different color a darker gray um, I don't know we'll, we'll see what happens but once again time has gotten away on me I spent uh, too much time I guess in my editing and uh, and too much uh, wasting time and uh, spinning my wheels as the saying goes uh, or as one of the viewers has at least once, in fact probably three times, said making a mountain out of a molehill. <laughs> Maybe this channel is not for him because this is what I do. I do what I feel like doing. I'm trying to keep having fun here. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna put off the uh, painting till tomorrow morning but at least we're ready to go. All I need to do is go down in the workshop and plug in my air hose and yep, we're ready to go. Thanks for watching everybody. And all being well, we'll see you tomorrow.